And uh, we move on then to the start list for the men's double skulls. Uh, Germany in lane one, Poland lane two, Ireland lane three, Uruguay in four, France in five, and Lithuania in lane six. Next we uh, see uh, the uh, German double with um, junior world champions uh, from uh, 2021 uh, there, Garbers and Strache. So you see one of the favorites for a medal here. Ryan Colch and uh, Konam Pazaya. Surprise winners of yesterday's semi-final, Uruguay, Newton Seawright and Martin Col uh, Zocaldo, Zocalo. The French, a very polished double, Samuel Arc and uh, Alric Roderick. And uh, Lithuania, closest to uh, the grandstand, already been called to attention. And a start underway for the A final of the men's double skulls. Riding for a moment with the Lithuanians. And a uh, quick start for the Lithuanians. They're uh, just up at the top. The Germans look to be among the quickest off the line at their 45. The Poles fly off at 51. Yeah, as we expect them to do. I mean, Poland was very rapid in uh, yesterday's semi-final. They just lost out to the uh, uh, the crew from Uruguay, who, are, who we are seeing now on the big screen. Uruguay, 43 strokes a minute, and uh, I think I, all these crews. It's the last race of the season. They're gonna uh, they're going to empty the tank all the way down the course. But Poland led for so long in that uh, semi-final yesterday and were, were overhauled by Uruguay in the last 50 meters or so. So I expect the Polish crew to go out fast and establish an early lead. Uh, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye out uh, for that very quick Irish double to 40 strokes a minute from uh, Brian Colch there and. Uh, He's just outside the view of this picture as we ride with Uruguay. Uruguay, nice long strokes, well connected and uh, nicely together. Uh, and uh, we see France here now moving into view, but um, the race out in front, I think, currently dominated by Ireland. Uh, they lead uh, not by much, though. Poland right beside them, and it's uh, very close. I think France uh, right in the mix there. Yes, we pan out. 500 meters gone. It is uh, Ireland leading over Poland. Then it's France, Germany, uh, Lithuania with uh, Uruguay uh, currently in sixth. Yeah, it's a, a quick start, a good first 500 meter stretch for the Irish, the only returning medalist from last year, certainly looking to improve upon the bronze that they received and uh, tracking down the goal. That's what it's looking like in the early stages. Uh, they've established quite a lead, but I'd say uh, that's with the exception of the poles just out of the picture. You can see the Irish, the, the angle a little bit deceiving. And uh, yeah, this Ur Uruguay combination, Martin Zocola, Newton Seawright. Well, uh, Newton Seawright, his sister Emma Seawright, rose for Canada. Oh. So um, uh, both grew up in Canada, but Newton decided to represent Uruguay. And uh, fantastic to see him here in this A final. Yeah, I would ex expect Uruguay to uh, uh, have a faster second half of the race than the first half of the race. I mean, we saw exactly that race plan yesterday uh, where they rode through Poland. As uh, we see uh, the uh, we see uh, Conan Pazaya there, yeah, the bow of that Irish double, and uh, they look fantastic, so nicely together. Long reach at the front end of the stroke, and uh, they lead Poland by about a canvas uh, as we approach halfway. And uh, here are the Polish uh, combination of Wozniak and Domanski, uh, with uh, uh, Jakob Wozniak there, the bow of the bow seat, and uh, he 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 keeps a good eye out to that uh, for that uh, Irish. Uh, double to his left because they know that is one of the crews they'll have to beat to get the gold medal here. Uh, that's absolutely right and we see Ireland just clipping it along. I love how quick they are at the front to get the blade in and uh, chip along at the top of the field now into the third quarter. Poland staying in really close touch less than a second away of course the Irish keeping a good eye on them. They see that the Poles take it up to 40 strokes per minute so not afraid to use the stroke rate to their advantage. No, it's a high rate from Poland, 40 strokes indeed, uh, 37 from uh, the Irish, which uh, looks a bit more sustainable to me, if, uh, if I'm uh, honest, uh, as we ride here with the Polish, that high rhythm from them, it's a good, they have a good solid boat speed, they're, all, they're, equal, they're equaling the uh, boat speed from the Irish double right beside them. 
uh, and uh, currently in silver medal position as we see uh, France. I think the French just o being overhauled by Germany just outside of picture here. Uh, the uh, Timo uh, Strache in the stroke seats uh, all the way on the far side of the course uh, doing well. I think about uh, a canvas over France now. France now in uh, fourth position. Germany, uh, good push from them I think. 37 strokes a minute and they're matching the top three, uh, top two crews for speed. Yeah, Germany able to just push ahead of France and potentially get themselves onto the podium. That's the challenge that's happening behind the Irish and the Poles. Team Ireland, though, we see their speed. They are continuing to open up their margin and push away the Poles. I think Poland, of course, will sense this. They'll need to go now, but they might not just have the speed that the team, uh, team Ireland does. No, it's, uh, it looks a bit more easy for uh, Team Ireland here to uh, develop that boat speed as they come into the final 500 meters. It's a uh, clear water advantage for the Irish double amazing stuff here and uh, Poland slipping back still in silver medal position but uh, the lead of uh, the Irish uh, combination is growing and uh, uh, well we haven't talked much about them but the Germans now moving more securely into that bronze medal position yeah that German combination as you mentioned the former U19 champions in the men's squad quite plenty of pedigree pedigree from them so we'll see what they uh, put together in the final 500 at the top of the podium though Ireland hold 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 and moving just a quick, big, quick uh, bit quicker than the Poles who take it up to 41. Yeah, Poland uh, take it up one notch, uh, 41 strokes a minute, and uh, right outside of view we have Uruguay also uh, turning the afterburners on, but uh, they have so much to uh, make up for relative to the three leading crews. It is going to be Team Ireland, I think. Uh, they've, uh, they're, they've, they're stretching out even further. It is uh, 200 meters still left to row for Pazaya and Coles from Ireland. I think they will be world champion, but Poland feeling the squeeze. Uh, Uruguay coming back at the Germans for that bronze medal. Uruguay with that amazing sprint in the prior round. They might be able to catch the Germans, but they're starting to run out of water. Up at the top, though, the Irish moving, 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 looking to capture the gold medal in the uh, men's double skulls in style. They led the entire way in the last round and uh, looking to do just the same. It is the Irish with an open water advantage over the poles. Well done to Ireland to capture the gold. The world champions in the men's double skulls. Big cheers. Then back to Poland oh, and over to Germany for the yeah, bronze. Poland will take the silver medal. Uh, Germany take the bronze just ahead of Uruguay and France and uh, Lithuania complete the field but uh, the race from that uh, Irish uh, double so impressive and again a quite quite a rapid time 610 uh, compared to our 607 uh, world championships best so uh, amazing performance there from uh, Pazaya and Colts from uh, Ireland. The gentleman from the Emerald, Emerald Isle taking a famous gold medal. Here we see the Polish silver medalists. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if they were pleased that they got the silver or angry that they lost the gold because it was definitely quite a lot of emotion when they crossed the line. Yeah, I did just see hands in the air uh, from uh, Konrad Domanski of Poland. So uh, I think he's quite happy with that. And the Germans just exhausted as uh, all six of these crews are as a look then at the times the results of that a final the world under 23 champions ireland and uh Pizzaia and kolsch well done then poland with the silver germany with the bronze